Hello everyone, it's Nadie, and today we are going to be organizing my beauty closet. Let's get right into it. Okay, so let me tell you about my beauty closet. It is a shit show, and not just a shit show, but a fucking shit show. I'm actually a little embarrassed to show you this, but I'm also kind of excited too, so yeah. Also, I'm throwing in a few extra little tips and ideas for people. These aren't necessarily what I kept, but I wanted to show you ideas that you could do. Anyways, Made Max is an organizing product company, and they must have seen my Snapchat and my beauty closet or something because they knew I was in need of some serious help and were lovely enough to let me pick some storage options from them for free. Thank you, baby. They also know that I like good quality, but that I'm also a cheap ass. So everything I'm showing you today is excellent, but affordable. I tested everything out before I filmed, honey. You know how I do. If I don't like something, you will be the first to know. Doesn't matter if I got it for free, if I bought it myself. Everything that we're using today is good and Nady approved. I mean, even Mia likes it, and if she likes it, then everyone likes it. First up, we have this hanging storage shelf. I think it's typically used for shirts or shoes. I actually have one of these in my clothes closet, and I love it. But today, I'm obviously going to be using it for beauty. On the top little shelf thingy, I'm putting my backdrops. I don't really use them anymore because I film against a sparkly green screen, but I do want them handy in case one day I decide to switch shit up. Also, please ignore the white thing on the left. It's filthy. It's a 25-foot white backdrop that I use for photography, and it's nasty. Just nasty. Nasty. Next, I'm taking these little plastic trays I got from the Dollar Tree. I think almost all the plastic storage things that I use, I got from there, so they were only a dollar. But in this, I'm putting my spare eyelashes because Lord knows I have a shit ton of lashes. On the shelf below that, I'm putting a few of the brushes that I use the most in two little plastic bins. I think they're probably for pencils or something, but I don't think I even own pencils. On the next shelf, I'm taking this cute little plastic box and putting my spare booty blenders in it, perfect for keeping dust and shit off of them. Below that, I'm storing my setting powders because I am a setting powder hoe and I collect them like nobody's business. Moving on to the top of my makeup dresser, once again, all these little lipstick things were at the dollar store with the exception of the big one, which I got from AliExpress for like three bucks, but I'm putting some of my lippies in there, my mascaras, some liner, etc. And already this was looking so much better and neater. It just feels so freaking good to be clean, but we can do better. So I took this three-tiered shelf and these baskets all by Made Max and put my favorite palettes in the bottom basket to kind of weigh this thing down. And then I put my loose shadows and cream shadows in the one above it. I like to keep a few boxes in case I need to send anything out. So I put my spares on the top shelf because they were the lightest. This next organizer tip I did is kind of on the cheesy side. It's definitely a college kid's really bored and really fucking high DIY. Plus it's cheap as hell. And I mean, it kind of looks that way, but I bought one of these green fake plant holders from the dollar store and some sparkly paper from there as well and wrap the paper around the foam. I cut off the edges and fit them to either side so nothing was showing. Then on the inside of the paper, I traced the base of what I wanted to put in there. Some YSL lippies, a Kylie lippy, and a wet and wild lippy. Then I cut those shapes out and dug into the foam in that shape. Super easy. Just make sure you have a vacuum handy. The finished product is kind of cute. I mean, you could even spend a little more and put studs in it from Joanne Fabrics or Hoobie Luby. Up next, we have a storage option that's almost more for looks and practical use, but I mean, whatever. I I got these bases from where, you might ask? Yes, at the dollar store. And filled one with rocks, which was from the dollar store as well, and the other with ground coffee. You could totally use whole coffee beans, but I don't own whole coffee beans because I honestly don't give them any shits about coffee. Anyways, you can throw your makeup brushes in there so the fibers don't get all bent and stick these on your desk. I did, however, my cat Mia knocked them over so I didn't get a chance to film it, but it was fucking gorgeous, okay? Next, we have an option for those who may be a little bit tight on space and can't necessarily hang tiered shelves in their closet. It's a shoe hole. Older. I actually stuff my wigs and makeup remover wipes and random beauty things in here and I put it on the other side of my door so it's out of sight, but you could totally put everything that I put in there easily and have it be very functional. This didn't seem to weigh the holder down at all. In fact, I probably could have climbed this thing like a rock wall and it would have stayed on the door. So I put my heavier things like foundations and liquid lipsticks in it and it looked pretty marvelous. For those with a little extra desk space, but a lot of cluttering makeup, I'm taking the storage shelf bin and stacking my palettes on their side. This makes it so you can put a lot lot of shit in a tiny little place. Like I'm able to fit 20 palettes in here, a lipstick tray, some eyeliners, and even have space for my sad little succulent. And it does look pretty good too. Like you can see exactly which palette is which. So you're not digging around. Plus if you're like me and you alternate between getting ready at a desk or getting ready in the bathroom, this is a very easily portable. Lastly, we have my bookshelf, which I got from Ikea after two men in a truck ruined my first one. But right now there's pretty much nothing beauty related on it. And I wanted to 
change that. So on this shelf, I'm taking this wired rack that I got from the dollar store and putting a few of my palettes in it. I like this because it's putting them on display and it looks really kind of chic, but it's also holding them so they don't get broken by, you know, cats. And then on this shelf, I'm moving my Alexander McQueen book, Bless His Beautiful Soul, and putting this Made Max box right in there. Now I have some wigs in there, a few palettes that I reach for fairly often, and a very naughty cat that likes to knock Nady shit over. I really like the way this looks. It's still dark and pretty, but that eyeshadow rack really helps give it a pop of life. But there you go. Everything looks so much better. Huge thank you and big shout out to Made Max. I could not have done it without you, baby. Don't forget my latest single, One Last Night, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting it. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at official Nady, and you can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye!